That the exactly. Show. Yeah. We need to bring okay. her back more often. I know. Uh, right. Rapper Post Malone took a nasty fall on stage during one of his concerts over the weekend, and now he has a health update and an apology for fans. Producer Chris in the control room with details. What happened here, Chris? Yeah, guys, I don't know if you saw this video circulating oh, yeah. on the internet this weekend, but it looked like a pretty nasty spill. TMZ is reporting that Post Malone was in the middle of his hit song Circles during Saturday's concert when he fell into a hole on the stage that had been opened to lower an instrument. You saw it right there on TMZ's website. He took a hard tumble. He apparently forgot about the opening as he started walking around the stage, ended up falling right through. The video, like I said, circulating online, looks pretty brutal. He did come out and finish his show after a brief break and the music stopped, but he was taken to the hospital after the fact. He had a couple bruised ribs. There were some initial reports that he had broken three of them. His manager says that is untrue. Post Malone did then go on to post a video on Twitter apologizing to his fans, saying, you know, he was sorry that it happened, that it affected the show. He says it got him pretty good. The good news is he is going to be okay. He's out of the hospital now. He heads to Columbus, Ohio mm. next. But, man, mm. we've seen this happen before. Remember Dave Grohl, DC's own? He was over at performing, like, Stockholm, mm. Sweden, fell off the stage, ended up breaking his leg, had to have Oof. it put in an air cast, finished the show. But the show must go on, Wisdom. Yeah, I guess so. I, I saw this, and, and, and then I read it was Post Malone. I was like, oh, that, that looks a lot – it looked a lot worse – than what he said uh, happened because oh, I, I don't know how deep it was, but when he fell, it was like boom. Going to yeah. knock the air out yeah. of you, too. Right, yeah. So, wow. Okay. Glad he's okay. I think that maybe they could come up with another way to get rid of the instrument as opposed to a hole in the stage. Right. Like, that just seems like it is an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's two things I think about this. One, someone's getting fired. <laughs> yeah. okay. right. Or maybe multiple people. Yes. <laughs> and then number two, you know what? I give it up to him. He was a soldier. I mean, he got hurt and came back and mm -hmm. was and finished the show. And then he apologized. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He did. I mean, he didn't have to do that. I mean, right. he could have just been like, I'm hurt. I'm done. I'm going, I'm going right. to the hospital. Yeah. See you later. Right. Yeah. He's dedicated. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Glad he's okay. Yes. Show must yeah. go on. All right, let's talk about Drake now, because apparently he's got another Twitter beef out there. And this uh -oh. time he's feuding with a YouTube music critic. The guy's name is Anthony Fantano of the Needle Drop. So this is a picture of the two of them. Apparently this beef all started because of a negative review of Drake's most recent music, saying the last few scored less than a, quote, light four out of ten is what the reviewer said. Drake responded with a DM on Instagram that he then posted himself saying, quote, your existence is a light one and the one is because you are alive. Harsh mm. words there. Drake had a few more choice words for the critic. That critic wasn't bothered, apparently, though. The critic questioned how Drake could let him get under his skin when he doesn't even have a million followers. <laughs> you guys are in the public eye. Are you going to let this kind of negative influence get under your skin. Are you I, responding no. to those DMs? No, no. never, no, I didn't no. never. Mm -hmm. I didn't which I'm surprised that he and I agree. I'm surprised that he actually responded to to the criticism Drake. I'm surprised Drake responded to the criticism yeah. from the guy. I don't know. I've been in that position and you know, most of the time you're like, oh, OK, whatever. Uh -huh. But Sometimes it's that day, that one the, good that, day. That, that, that one you comment catch, that you see? You catch me on a bad day, and I'm like, you know what? I got time today. Hold okay. on. Yeah. You know, so we have to give it up to him. I mean, yeah, he should have tough skin, but, you know, it was just that one day. He had yeah. a bad day, right. and he was tired of him running his mouth, and yeah. he came and was like, I got something for you. But now you gave him shine. Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. The downside because he is, was unfazed. Right. Yeah. right. The downside is nobody knows who the guy is until you respond and put him out in front of the now he's the gonna link. get that million and now, dollars and now he's <laughs> gonna get all this so yeah in the so meantime, that's yeah we've got our new comeback to everything your existence is a light uh, you, I, I like your it existence is a light one, light one. yeah i do kind of like that i do Thank like that too. Yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna borrow that hashtag right. yeah, exactly <laughs> i'm not gonna use it in social media but just in okay. real life I might right. Do, right right i might use that when i go to the gym and play yeah. well never never mind i might that might turn on me yeah never mind okay all right thank you chris